Hi, welcome to this series of videos where we will go over all the functionalities in StarSteer. In this first video, we're going to visit the general overview of StarSteer. When you first open your project, this is the window that you're going to see. At the top, you have your toolbar. On the left, you have the object tree, and you also have the main geosteering window. This is comprised of three sections, the horizontal track, vertical track, and the geosteering cross section. Here on the left on the object tree, this is where all the data that has been loaded into StarSteer lives. In the object tree, you will have the wells that you're interpreting. Within those wells, the trajectories will live, the logs, other geosteering interpretations that you're running, images, tops, target lines, comments, type wells, as many as you'd like, with the logs that you choose to import for geosteering. You can have polygons, grids, 3D models. Here on the top of your main geosteering window, you have other tabbed views. For example, we have the map view, we have a 3D view, just move it around, you can see your structure in 3D, and you have a correlation panel. We will visit more on each of these sections and tabs in later videos. If you would like to modify and format your view, this main geo steering window can be edited. I can bring one of these docked views and just present it into my main screen. I will bring my map view and I will simply just drag and drop it into one of these sections that I get here on this cross. I will let it dock for a second and now I can move that window, rescale and show my map and go back to geosteering. So now I have my geosteering main window, my tracks and I can see the map view docked here. Every object that I select here on the object tree will populate a new tab at the top. For example, if I click on well, now I have a new tab called well format. Here I can edit the line, the survey points, just many different functions. I can do the same for interpretation. Now I have an interpretation format for a horizon. That just keeps everything decluttered and very simple. If you ever want to do something for a specific object, for example, for a log, just simply click on your log, in this case, Gamma Ray, and it'll open up all these possibilities for you to work on your log. Thanks for joining this general overview video and stay tuned for the next one where we will go over project setup. Everything from loading your directional surveys, importing your wall trajectories, importing log data. So see you on the next one.